You robbed the wrong guy. I stumbled upon this sub about a week ago, and have since been thoroughly enjoying myself reading the stories. I figure I'll share mine. Just a quick history to set the stage. At a younger age I moved from Chicago to Baltimore to take a job with the federal government. When I started, I hit it off with a couple guys, who've since become my best friends. We all lived together for about 5 years until one by one we started moving on, getting married, etc. One guy, we'll call him John, left our place of employment to take a job as a secret service agent. As everyone went their separate ways, I thought I'd make a smart decision as a young professional and buy a house. In 2007. Right before or the financial collapse. Needless to say, immediately after buying I was upside down big time and struggling. I had some other co-workers move in. But they only lasted about a year before abruptly moving out, leaving me scrambling to find a roommate, and thus setting the stage for my revenge story. I ended up posting on a bunch of venues to find the new roommate. One guy ended up far and above the best option, we'll call him Russell. Russell was a military vet, who had served a couple tours downrange, and was now a sous chef at a local restaurant. He was easy to get along with so I pulled the trigger in haste without doing the proper checks I should have, primarily due to being in a desperate financial situation. The first sign something was off was when Russell moved in. He came with just a couple boxes and a TV. No bed, furniture, etc. The next clue came from in me chatting him up about his time in the military. On the surface he could talk the talk. But as I got more nuanced, his answers became more well, wrong. He claimed to be a former ranger, so he would have known the topics discussed. The final clue was the classic one. He started making excuses for rent payment on month two. By this time, I knew something was not right, so I politely told Russell to move out, which he did immediately. Once gone, I went to Home Depot to buy new locks, and much to my surprise my debit card didn't work. Come to find out, Russell had stolen a checkbook and cleaned me out. Every cent I had in my account was gone. At this time, I'm feeling a mixture of anger, fear of not being able to pay my mortgage, and disappointment in myself for not vetting him properly. When I ended up telling John he was livid. He wanted every detail about the situation. Little did I know, John told all his co-workers and they immediately opened a case on Russell. For those of you who don't know the Secret Service also deals with financial slash economic crimes, albeit normally on a much larger scale than my savings account. Within a few days, Secret Service agents had tracked down and interrogated slash arrested all the individuals who had cashed the fake checks on Russell's behalf. One turned and advised Russell would be at the Dick's last resort at the Baltimore Inner Harbor that night. John and his crew changed into plain cloths and went there to wait. Lo and behold, Russell shows up and acts like he owns the place. He started announcing that he was leaving on a deployment to Iraq so he wanted to buy the entire bar drinks, with my money, I should add. As he was standing there paying for everyone's drinks, John stood up and screamed Secret Service, you're under arrest. Three agents slammed him down, cuffed him, and pulled him out where two black SUVs rolled up on the boardwalk to take him away. My other friend who had gone to observe said the entire restaurant paused in stunned silence for about 30 seconds. They take Russell and by this time John says he's bawling his eyes out. The best part of the ordeal, was John made him add in his written confession I routinely pretend to be an army ranger. But have never served. Before being taken to the city jail, Russell asked John why did the secret service arrest me, to which John replied you robbed the wrong guy. Epilogue, the bank ended up giving me all my money back very quickly under a fraud claim. I ended up attending Russell's court appearance with John, where he took a plea and spent six months behind bars. Needless to say, I was a bit more careful in choosing my next roommate. We've been happily married for five years. Edit, in an attempt at closing the story with a creative quip, I've made it sound like I married John. For the record, my wife is not John. Edit 2, I see a lot of comments about skepticism of how Russell was federally charged. I reached out to John and he advised they charged him on the state level due to the low scale of the crime, which explains why he went to city jail, and why I attended city court. I did a quick search and found this since I know you'll ask, 18 U.S.C. Second 13 allows for federal agencies to charge for state offenses, which would be offenses under state law in which federal territory resides. Now to the comments. The biggest tragedy here is that OP didn't marry John. John really is marriage material. 
here, here. Dilly dilly. Screw calling the police, I'm dialing the secret service next time. They're in the phone book I'm assuming. Um. The secret phone book. It's a secret. For those of you who don't know the Secret Service also deals with financial slash economic crimes, albeit normally on a much larger scale than my savings account. That was their original mandate. They started out under Treasury. Protecting the President and other government officials is their better known task. But it's technically a sideline. Now that they're under Homeland Security, this might have changed. Yes. They were originally formed to crack down on people making and using counterfeit money. Well, and stamps. But nobody bothers counterfeiting stamps nowadays. What a great friend to have. I'm sure that Russell had no clue what he'd gotten himself in for and assumed he'd get away with both the theft and the stolen valor. And the bank came through with getting you your money back. Glad to hear that your next roommate was so much more suitable. Here in Canada, I got only a few hundred dollars stolen with my card getting skimmed. I had a bank investigations fellow call me and told me what happened before I even knew I had been robbed. Explained what the process was and had the money back in my account within six-ish hours on Thanksgiving of all days. Similar story. Was out shopping and all of a sudden, my card wouldn't work. Go to the bank, they cancelled my card because a nearby merchant had been hacked and CC numbers were obtained. They proactively took care of the issue and had a card waiting to go for me and I was out in under 15 minutes. For the record, my wife is not John. Too bad, he sounds like a cool dude plus he's a secret service agent. Swoon. Sorry but this didn't happen like this, if it happened at all. My uncle is a retired police officer and former AA sponsor to a former secret service agent who at one point was on detail for First Lady Laura Bush. I just showed him this and he gave me a resounding bullshit. I quote if it was the US or even the feds, sure you could get a couple of buddies together and go after the guy. The SS, hell no. What I bet happened is if he really knows an SS guy, they kind of hate you talking about them being such. If they really wanted to help, they would most likely use one of their contacts. Because simply put it's too far outside of their jurisdiction to open a case on formally. Also, it's too easy to get your money back now in the case of fiscal fraud. Someone charges your credit card or account for something you didn't buy and one phone call has it back to you. Also, it takes months of lack of payment to lose a home. He said the guy only missed one month after paying one month. These facts are not adding up at all. This sounds like 80% made up. You have a vibrant imagination. My favorite part was when they arrested him, the entire bar gave a standing ovation. That bar's name? Albert Einstein. Don't forget the manager came in and gave each of the agents a crisp dollar 100% bill, which they then investigated since their primary task is investigating counterfeit currency. 